10 degrees out today. Hottest day, hottest Valentine's Day on record. So I figured I'd go ahead and do my annual inspection before it gets down to minus 30. Well, this is what you need for a 100 hour inspection. Spark plugs, Bosch fuel filter, oil and a filter, and some safety wire. I'm also going to be doing a cylinder pressure test. So this is important because I have the cowl flap on this plane as an option. I have to open it and remove this bolt in here so that I can take the cowl off. Now we can go ahead and remove the bottom cowl. Okay, we're at the engine. So basically you want to make sure there's no leaks from the exhaust system. Uh, make sure everything's connected well. You might want to check the, the actual um, tightness of bolts. Um, right here I have an extra alternator on the motor, so I'm going to check the belt. Make sure it's in good shape. There's no leaks anywhere. Here's your fuel filter that I'm going to replace. Spark plugs. You got lots of antifreeze, make sure it's at the minimum line. Since I have a tail dragger, I elevate the tail so that the engine is more level and the oil will drain easier. Run your plug. Now you can put in your oil. Only use Sport Plus 3 in this Rotax 912IS engine. Time to replace this guy, the fuel filter. Is the new filter going on? All right, new filter's on. Let's test to see if it doesn't leak. Got the fuel pump on and there's no leaks. So we're gonna test the pressure on the cylinder. And I'm at top dead center for this uh, cylinder. Basically, you just put your finger over the hole until air pressure builds up and pushes your finger out. Up, I'm going to connect it to the cylinder, and you have to hold the propeller and wiggle it back and forth and see how much PSI you can get. You want to make sure you're not standing in the way of the propeller. You open this little lever, and that's when it'll start to kick the propeller over. Okay, I'm back to finish the annual, the 100 hour inspection. Uh, I just torqued up the new spark plugs to 20 newton meters. And put the caps back on. Now we're just going to put the cowl back on and give it a test run. Good, no leaks. Well, hey guys, we're in the 
Cessna 150. Haven't started this plane in a year. Let's see how it goes. Got uh, fuses in, carbides in, mixtures rich, throttles quarter inch in. Tags on both, master on. Here goes nothing. That'll be fun to fly this plane a little bit today. And the reason I am taking this plane flying is because it's up for sale and there's a guy looking at it uh, on Friday. I just don't fly this plane anymore with the new Pipistrelle. Um, this plane isn't really good for much aerial work that I do. It's got a fairly short range, slow speed, uh, no four holes. So. It's an okay backup, it works, but uh, it's not ideal. It'd be really nice to get my hands on one of those Raptor planes. I'm gonna do a ramp checks now. Into the wind, turn it neutral. Yeah, this Fox truly chilly pop, but can I get a radio check? Uh, Golf and even Yankee, yeah, we got two uh, five by five. Okay, thanks a lot. Alright, go ahead and ask Kirby Echo. Hey, it's uh, Muscle Northwest Ninja. You're going to lake here, uh, 4,000 feet. Um, I'm going to move your coast towards the middle of the field. Full power. Alright, we checked that. Thanks. Uh, Airspeed alive. For about 55, uh, rotate. And you're, you're still west of your lake, correct? Climb out. Ah, uh, correct, yep. Alright, check the mark. 75. Stay, uh, east of the western section of your lake, right? Climbing not too bad today. It feels really slow compared to the Pippa's Trail. Climbing at 600 feet a minute, uh, Pipistro is usually about 2,000 feet a minute, so it feels really weird. This plane sure is like a tank to fly, gee, it's so slow to turn, but it's fun to come back to it. This might be my last flight in it, I don't know. I have to say this is a pretty nice day to fly. These clouds almost look like nice cumulus clouds. Unfortunately it's uh, minus 12 degrees Celsius right now. So you really wouldn't want to be paragliding up here today. But the clouds do look nice for paragliding. Okay. Spring is definitely on its way. I have to remember too that this plane kind of drops like a rock compared to the Pipistrelle. I'm going to come in a little bit faster with the crosswind with less flap. Save more control. And we'll do our flare. There we go, successful flight. Glad I could have you guys with me.
This might be the last flight from this plane that you guys will see, unless they get me to deliver it for them. And I'll bring you guys with for that flight. Catch you later.